You know, today on day nine, we're going to be talking about what is admirable, what it means to think on things that are of good report, that are excellent, they're praiseworthy. We're going to talk about that on this day, these 10 days of awe that we have been in. We started on September the 30th on the Feast of Trumpets, this gathering point, this announcement, not only again for the new calendar year for the Jewish people, but it was an announcement that Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, is coming. Get ready. Prepare your heart. Prepare your heart and your mind. That's why I love that the scripture says, guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. There's a guarding. There's God is a God who not only gives us the grace to, uh, to come to him, but he also gives us the grace power to follow him, to believe him, to serve him. And today in, in, these, in this day that we, I pray that you've, you've really been able to glean something from reading from Psalm 27 every day during these 10 days of awe. I pray that you've, you've been able to glean something from reading Revelation 1 through 4. I pray you've caught a glimpse of Jesus in a way you've never seen him before. Not only fully man, but fully God. And John said, when I turned to hear, see the voice that was speaking with me, I, I saw the seven golden lampstands. One like the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot. His head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow. He had a, he had a, golden, a golden girdle around him. His feet looked like they were burning in a furnace. His eyes were like a flame of fire, and out of his mouth came a sharp two-edged sword. He said, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as a dead man. He saw Jesus in his majesty, in his splendor, in his glory. And he said, and he took his right hand, the right hand is one of acceptance, placed it on John, and in essence was saying, you are welcome here. I want to tell you today, because of what he did for us, because of the blood of Jesus, you are welcome, I am welcome, in his presence. And there is no greater invitation we could have ever received than to come to him. And I pray that that has been kind of the, the cry of our heart during this season, these days of awe. And as we come in to, to think on this, what, is, what it means to think on what is admirable, well spoken of, a good report, what is excellent, what is praiseworthy, as we start retraining, you know, we tend to look at people cynically. You know, we, um, we don't trust. We want to, instead of believing the best in people, our human nature has a tendency to believe the worst. It's, if you've been violated in any way, if you've, been, um, if you've had your trust broken with someone, we, we have a tendency in our minds to not want to think what is best, what is trustworthy. We want to think the worst. But I'm so glad that we can have our mind renewed because of his thoughts toward us, thoughts to give us a hope and a future, it says in Jeremiah. And I love that portion where he says, I know my plans for you. I know my thoughts toward you. But he goes on to say that when you seek me, you'll find me when you search for me with all your heart, that the greatest revelation, the greatest unveiling of Jesus we'll find is not in his plan, but in his person. That's why he calls us to himself. And he begins to change and take the, the warped moments or take the hurt moments where we refuse and we're able to say, no, God, I can't live my life offended. So I want to think on what is admirable. Excellent thoughts, good thoughts toward my family, my friends, my co-workers. Because Lord, I want to live a life to pull them, even if they're hurting, even if they're wrong. I want my life to be a reflection of the grace you've given me. And I want to help pull someone up. I want to be to them what you've been to me. I want to bring them to you. It says of Andrew, when he found Jesus, he went and got his brother, 
Simon and brought him to Jesus. That was admirable. That was worthy of praise. That was amazing. So I pray that for us today, that we would think and surrender our life to what is admirable and worthy of praise. Father, thank you for this day. We honor you in these days of awe. In Jesus' name, amen.